good morning, good afternoon, good night, and that whole cornucopia of greetings in between, depending on what time zone you're in and where you are. I'm Sanjeev Rajaram, and this is my YouTube channel. So earlier this morning, I recorded a whole bunch of uh, audio about this company, which I placed an order through online. Um, so this video is just basically entailing how I'm irritated that most new tech companies don't have a phone call phone number correspondence. I was initially a little bit angry at this company because my email hadn't been responded to, but then I got in touch with them through Instagram Direct and we talked it over and they refunded my shipping because basically I ordered uh, a shipping method USPS Air, which was supposed to come the next day, but I did that on Saturday. And since they were open, their warehouse wasn't open on the weekends, uh, the shipment wouldn't have been placed out till today. So they were kind enough to give me a refund and have the items shipped out by tomorrow. So in light of that, I've removed their name from all the audio and edited out of my videos. And I'm going to edit out in the screenshots because that was a really nice thing they did for me. So I don't want to give their business any negative reviews. Hence, I'm putting this message in at about 1.22 p.m., uh, three hours after I initially recorded the original audio. So here's the original audio. Enjoy the video. Today is March 27, 2017. I'm taking a sick day off from work and I'm here at home and I'm just waiting for my Parrot Sumo drone, which I ordered on Saturday to come in. Now I ordered this drone from a site called and I specifically chose the UPS next day air delivery. So that was Saturday, March 25th, 2017 or two days ago. Now, according to the UPS site, the next day air delivery is typically by 10.30 a.m. the next business day. If you didn't know, a business day is usually Monday to, through Friday, or a.k.a. the days that most businesses are usually open, which is Monday through Friday. Now, today, the 27th of March 2017, a Monday, it's about 12 p.m. where I'm at, which is in the United States, in New Jersey, and the drone has not arrived yet. In fact, I haven't even gotten an email from confirming that a shipping has been placed. I played a lot of money for that next day shipping. So I decided I wanted to contact, you know, maybe a quick phone call would be nice. Find out what's going on, why they haven't sent it out, what's the delay. So I click my initial email and it says, if you have any questions, please contact us at help with a capital H at... Now, I feel like an email, unless you're me, I respond to my emails almost immediately because I have uh, my email app on my phone. But generally, I feel like for most people and companies, email is not really the most efficient way to respond. So naturally, I go on their website looking for a phone number. And lo and behold, there is no phone number. Now, this irritates me. I think this is just a really mean-spirited practice. And plenty of companies like Uber do it. These are all new tech companies. And since they want to be all new and edgy, they basically they don't have phone numbers and all queries have to be done through email. You can search all you want for the phone number for Uber or any of these other new age companies. And I'm telling you from experience, you will not find the number because it doesn't exist. So I was very confused as to why they would do this. And I decided to start looking. Found uh, an article actually in the New York Times published on July 6, 2012. Basically, this article lists the reasons that most of these companies give for not having a phone line. One is that they don't have enough employees to talk to, and another being that they are an internet-based company and uh, essentially people should get with the times. Now, see, I'm all for texting Twitter responses ETC. I love those. But why would you get rid of the original calling? That literally makes no sense to me. I can understand the first reason. Maybe you don't have enough employees and it, and it cuts costs to merely have an email or text message based correspondence. But a lot of these people want to speak to someone. I mean, even if you could program an AI to speak for you, that would be cool. But why in, or why is it so hard to reach someone to talk to? Like if you look, I can show you this. My email still has not been responded to. I sent this email this morning at 10.26 AM. They still haven't responded to it. So this is really more efficient than a phone call? 